What is going on? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Gonna do a review for you on the Red Rock Rover Sling Pack. I think's what it's called. Hell, I done one like four or five years ago. Gonna do another one. Had it for this long. Carried in my truck. Took it out camping like once or twice, I do believe. Um, as my friend here sitting beside of me, Top Gun Fishing, Mr. Loudy. Couldn't do a video right on a there. pack. I don't see how you could do a video on this I told pack. him. I told him you could do videos on a pack. But anyway, uh, without further ado, since I can only do 15-minute videos on this channel until we get that subscriber basis up, uh, we're going to go over and review that. I got some stuff out of my pack that I'll do another video and blah, 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 blah. So uh, let's flip you around and get right to it. guys here is the bag mr uh, top gun fishing over here said i could not do a review on this bag within the 15 minutes that i had he said maybe two minutes so uh we're gonna give it a try there it is it is a bag it's khaki and it holds stuff so if you like this video hit that thumbs up button subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll see you back on another video on the channel no, i'm just playing with y'all um Red Rock sling backpack from Red Rock Outdoor Gears, whatever it is. I've had this thing for like three, four, five years. There's the little patch on it. Uh, pretty nifty little bag. You can use it for like tons of different things. Um, kayak fishing, for one. I mean, you can throw all your baits, line, phone, whatever. It's not a dry bag, of course. You got holes there on the bottom to drain all that crap out of it. But, I mean, you could pretty much use it for everything. I use it for like an everyday go bag. Uh, where we work EMS, uh, you know, I'll throw everything I need in it. Uh, sunglasses, knife, uh, baton, <laughs> like I need a baton and a knife in EMS. Uh, carry everything that I need in it, like, that I can't fit in my pockets. Uh, you know, like EDC stuff. Or EMS, EDC stuff, whatever you need, pins, blah, blah, blah. I'll show you some of that, like I said, in the next video. Uh, I'll try to make it short and sweet. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's around five liters is what the internet's telling me. And if I can pull it up here, I'll try to give you the dimensions. It's seven and a half by three and a half wide, I believe is what it is seven and a half by three and a half by 12 high if that tells you anything so I'm, i know it's 12 inches high at least 12 inches high uh i'm guessing three and a half width wise I'm not sure exactly what it's talking about unless it's that front pocket um other than that don't ask me about the dimensions i saw it i was like i like this and i'm gonna end up getting it so you got your little gun pouch, whatever, back here, if you can see it in this horrible lighting that we're in. It's actually got a little Velcro piece for a gun thing. Mr. Top Gun, if you could hand me, I think it's in the bedroom there. If you could hand me uh, that pouch without the freedom sender, we, uh, I'll show you that. Uh, of course, it's got some mole webbing on the back, some extra little plastic clips. But uh, if you carry or everyday carry, uh, it's right or left shoulder sling. You can attach to either side. So I always thought that was pretty cool. But you just take your Velcro patched Freedom Sender holder and uh, just attach it right there to in the back of your bag. Or you can actually just set it down inside. Pretty good little concealed carry uh, 
I ended up using a Smith & Wesson 40 that I converted to a 9, which I can do a video on that later. A uh, pretty good little grip when you throw it around your back. Uh, it pretty much stays in place, actually has a little extra piece to go around your stomach. If you use that, I never use it. I just throw it over my shoulder and go on. Uh, mole webbing on the side. You actually have some little mole webbing up here. Mole webbing on the front and a little place to display your patches, if you can see that. You just sort of got to be creative with that. Uh, mole webbing on it's actually pretty endless. Uh, it's more of a, I'm going to guess I could say civilian styled bag because it's got a place where you can uh, put your SD cards, batteries, uh, pins, keys, you know, a little key clip, whatever have you. You could even probably use it for like a little couple hour day bag to go out camping. Uh, tons of pockets in the thing. Uh, the vel or not the Velcro, what do you call it? Elastic. Yeah, uh, elastic works pretty good on it. Uh, everything's held up. I mean, it's a little rough around the edges where I've had it for three years, but I, you know, I throw it in the truck and we go on. Uh, got some staples in there actually. Uh, pretty deep little bag. Got a little concealed pockets to where you can actually transfer your freedom sender inside or whatever you have with velcro just like slap it in there and go all kinds of little extra pockets but cross point on it i mean me having this for three years um i've took care of this one actually pretty good i'm usually like rough on backpacks um i was real big into the maxpedition style backpacks like the fat max um I'm trying to think of some others, but can't come to any right off the top of my head. But uh, I was like, I want a little cheaper version because you're going to go get a Fat Max. You're going to pay like 150 to 125 bucks. So I figured, see, look, look at that niceness. Uh, <laughs> but pretty much, I mean, with what you get here, I've had this for three years. I mean, I think I've got my money's worth out of it. I think I bought them when they was like around 25 or 95 off of Amazon not sure uh, it comes in a bunch of different colors uh, you know digital camo the khaki OD green black red yellow pink purple blue whatever and they did at the time the ones that I have found online to where I could get those dimensions for you I think it's around like 30 was it 32 Thirty-two ninety-five, I think, and that was like from a sportsman store. Uh, of course, you got your little zip pocket here in the front too, which is pretty sweet. And uh, just found me another little patch there that I had hiding. It's pretty sweet. Uh, forgot I even had that little fella in there. So you can lose stuff in this pack. It's so big, but I mean, it very well recommended. I mean, look at the tear on it. I mean, I throw it in an ambulance. I haven't done that in a while, actually. I haven't used it in an ambulance or anything. Uh, but I did used to carry this every day for a little over a year. Throw it in the ambulance, it actually rides in my truck, goes in my house, goes back in my truck. Cause I don't like to go without it most of the time. I think I forgot it a few times, but you know, after you uh, prep and do all that stuff, it's actually even got a little belt clip here made of Velcro, which I have never used. I mean, I guess it could stabilize to your side if you wanted it to. I know a lot of the EMS guys around here use it like first aid bags, like you was talking about earlier there. Um, pretty sweet little bag, though. I mean, for the price point on it, you can't beat it. A good fly bag. Yeah, a good fly bag, fishing bag, kayak bag, day hiking bag. Uh... Heck, women could use it for purses if that's what you're, you know, wanting to get into. You don't want to wear your, uh, or carry your regular Michael Kors, you know, sexy little pocketbook and you wanted something more rugged. I mean, here you go. I mean, for the price point on it, you can't beat it. Uh, keep everything. I keep my life in it pretty much. I mean, everything. Uh, is water resistant up to a certain point? I've never had it out in like a complete downpour, but like going in and out of our stations to the truck and it like pouring down gully washer style. Sorry about that. It done pretty good. 
uh, didn't get any of the contents wet. So, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, you know, very good bag. I would recommend it. Uh, like I said, mole webbing. It's endless. I mean, you grab something like this, you make it your own, however you want to set it up, and you're good to go. I mean, even with a 5.11 bag that you're going to get, you're going to at least pay, what do you say, 50 to 60 bucks? Top Air Top Gun? Something like that. I, can't remember I, I, think, I think they're around 50 to 60. You know, you get into your more expensive way. stuff, hard hardware, all that good stuff. going to be 10 times more expensive than this bag right here. So I think it's a good, uh, good even little ground. You don't you, you want a good bag, but you don't want to spend a ton of the money. Around ninety nine bucks for a five eleven bag now. So I think it's the best bang for your buck. Uh, don't take my word on it. Go try to get your hands on one. I mean, you can go to Walmart, spend you twelve bucks, have you something that's going to last you a year that you're throwing around using, or which I'm, I'm not saying nothing bad. Walmart's got some good stuff too. Shop there all the time. But for this, getting it offline, they knew what they were doing. Super, super solid little pack. And uh, that's about all I can say about it. So if you liked the video this time, for real, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, leave us a like, subscribe of course. Hopefully we can do some more uh, fishing and all that good stuff. Get out on a good dangle. So until next time, hope y'all get out there on a dangle. Hope y'all go check this little pack out. Hope this all helped you out deciding whether you wanted to get something like this or even turned you on to something like this. And uh, we'll catch y'all on the next video.